It's lonely here. You hear me? I said it's lonely here. Why you keep looking at me like that? You heard what I said, right? It's lonely here. No, 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 no. Stop thinking that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that it's lonely because I'm literally standing out here in the middle of a park by myself. Actually out here, when the sun, while the sun is beaming on me and glistening on my skin, I actually don't feel alone. Surrounded by all of these homes, a couple of people out here with their animals, hearing the birds chirp, I actually don't feel alone. I feel very connected to a higher power, something bigger than me. So that's not why I said it's lonely here. It's lonely here because you're done running. It's lonely here because there's no turning back. It's lonely here because you got to put up or shut up. That's why it's lonely here. God said in this season, it's gonna feel like you are in utter solitude. It's going to feel at times like you are in confinement, that you are being confined. You'll be at home with your loved ones and you'll still feel alone. You will feel like no one understands you. But I want you to understand something, that this feeling is important. And where you are right now in your life, it is important. You see, when God has chosen you, when he has purposed you, when he has predestined you, it is important for you to walk alone. You're not walking alone or choosing to walk alone by choice. God is forcing you into a place where you can only hear his voice. Into a place like I said, where you can only hear his voice. Why is this important? You wanna live and you wanna walk in your purpose, right? So the place of loneliness is important. Being out in the deep by yourself is important. And when I say loneliness, sometimes it might be physically lonely, but I'm talking about mentally. I'm talking about spiritually. No one can go on this journey with you, but God. And he's not physically standing next to you right, right now, is he? You can't physically stand out here and play patty cake with him or have a picnic with him and pass him over the wine and the cheese and the bread, right? It is important that he is able to hear you and you hear him. And when I say you hear you, I mean, don't sometimes you feel like God doesn't hear you? Like you pray and 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 nothing is happening, nothing is moving in your life, and you just literally feel like God does not hear you. God is saying, I understand that you feel like you're not being heard, but you feel that way because you got all of these things that you're connected to right now. You feel like I'm not hearing you because you are hearing all 
of these things around you. You're hearing all of the exterior, exterior things that are going on around you. You're focusing on everything else. You're zoning in on everything else but me, says God. How many of us need to hear from God today, not tomorrow? And this is why it is important for you to realize and recognize that you are going on a journey, on a path. Let me show you this path. As you look at my silhouette, do you see anyone else? There's no one else here. This is what the journey looks like into your purpose. This is what it sounds like. Can you hear it? Loneliness. Hey, I know you're scared. I was scared too. It feels very daunting. And in fact, the Bible tells us that it's not good for man to be alone. So I know you're afraid. But there's no need to be fearful. Because God is saying, he tells us in his word, that if we would delight ourselves within his presence, that he would give us the desires of our hearts. Your purpose is in your heart. Your purpose is in your heart. And you are in a season where you have to walk in purpose. You're in a season where you have to breathe in purpose. You're in a season where you can't afford to be distracted and everything that's going on around you. If you keep going back to the same people that God is commanding you, see, he's no longer, he's no longer asking you. He's commanding you to come from out, to come from out of those surroundings. It's a commandment. God is commanding you to come out of those four walls, to stop listening to outside voices, to stop taking your family's advice, to stop taking your spouse's advice. He's commanding you to hear from him and him only. Because only God knows your heart. He's the only one that knows what he's deposited on the inside of you. In fact, the word, God's word says, mentions that we don't know our heart. No one knows our heart. The only one that knows our heart is God. And God says in his word that he searches our heart. That he may purify it and create within it cleanliness. He's purifying your heart in this season and he's making your intentions righteous and great. So it's important for you to understand that you have to be alone. And you can, you can watch this and you can sit right where you're sitting right now and you can feel sorry for yourself and you can cry all you want. But at the end of the day, when you get up, you better do what God told you to do and walk alone. I'm not telling you to isolate yourself from the world. I'm telling you to get in a place where you only hear from God. Where everything you do, every move you make, you don't make it without God. You bring him into every situation and every, every uh, issue or decision that you have to make. Only 
God. This is so important. But like I said, you don't even have a choice. Because things will get so uncomfortable and so difficult for you. You see, when we disobey God, when it comes to him saying to us, hey, I have you in a season where you're getting ready to walk into your purpose. And I need, I need, like, we need to have this conference meeting. We need to have this conference meeting. So I'm going to need you to unplug this and unplug that and stop listening to this and stop listening to that and only listen to this and only listen to that and I need to you need to meet with you at five o'clock every morning you know and um, I need you to bring your pen and I need you to bring your journal and your bible and I need you to worship and I need you to uh, 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 um, allow me to purify your heart so I'm gonna need you to confess up to some stuff that you did so I can go ahead and take care of that so that don't hinder you when you get over into your season of purpose when God is saying that to us when he's requiring us to get in a season of loneliness, where all we hear from is him, it is for a purpose. It is for a reason. It is not to make you feel isolated or depress you. It is so you can walk in your purpose. And like I said, he's no longer giving us an option. We have to do it. And little do you know, you're on this video right now because there's something in you that's always wanted to do it. There's, there's something on the inside of you that's been wanting to walk in purpose for a long time. And now it's time. Your time has come. If you're watching me, your time has come. Hallelujah. Your time has come. And there are going to be relationships that are broken up in your life because of it. And God is saying, let them go. If he sees fit to, he will restore them in a later season. But you cannot afford to allow these relationships to hinder where God is taking you to now. So you got to be willing, understanding, and okay with the fact that you are not going to be able to take a lot of people with you. There will only be a few. There will be few and far in between amounts of people that you will be able to take with you during this time. And sometimes it's going to, and, and I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to hurt. It is. It is. It's going to hurt because there are going to be times where you listen to God and you do what God told you to do. And as a result, he blesses you. And you're going to want to celebrate and share with the people that you grew up with and the people that you used to always hang around. And God's going to say, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. He's going to tell you just like that. Shut it up. I'm not ready yet. This spark has only, has only begun to be lit. I just lit this spark. If you open your mouth now, you will kill the flame. And you won't kill the flame because you're physically blowing the flame out because the flame is going to be blown out. You won't kill the flame. They won't even kill the flame. The flame will die and burn out because mentally, subconsciously, you haven't built up the muscle, the faith muscle, as much as you should. You're not to the level of where everything that God is calling you to do and everything that God is commanding you to do to where it's instinctual. Yeah, I like that word. I used that yesterday and I looked it up and it's actually a real word. You are not to the level to where it is instinctual for you to obey God. It is instinctual for you to do what he's called you to do, even though you are in the wilderness and you have no resources. So if you open up your mouth prematurely and tell people that about your small accomplishments or your or your beginning, your new, your fresh accomplishments, what ends up happening sometimes is because there you will find they are not as excited about it as you are. Because I just told you, you are in a season of loneliness. So people are not going to understand you and they're not going to understand why you're so excited about something that they're not. All they'll see is that, wow, we used to be on the same page, but now they didn't went out and did this and I don't know what's going on. And it's weird and I don't understand it. That's all they're going to see. And so their lack of support, <laughs> the lack of support that you feel 
when you express yourself and share your accomplishments, it will depress you and it will draw your mind back to a place of captivity and you will lose the fight. Uh, the Holy Spirit, you will lose the fight and the zeal to get up in the morning and come out here and say, let me do what God told me to do. Let me make that video. I love this tree. This tree is probably over 300 years old. Look at this tree. And I wanna tell you this, that during this season, it's gonna feel like you are all alone. And even though it feels like you, all, you are all alone, look at who you got standing behind you. Jesus, God, he's standing right behind you, rooted, he's strong. All you need is him. You don't need 50 million trees. This is one tree. This tree is so strong that it looks like many. It looks like a multitude of trees. It looks like a multitude of trees because of its strength and because its roots go very deep. Its roots probably goes all the way underneath this concrete. That's probably how deep, the, his, deep this tree's roots are. This is God. This is God. He's saying even though you are out in the wilderness and you feel like you are alone and like nobody cares and nobody loves you and nobody's there to support you and you don't know what's and you feel like you can't walk in your purpose because you don't have nobody to help you. He's saying that's all you need is me. Let me give you shade. Let me be the one to shield you. Let me be the one to protect you. Let me be the one to give you direction. Look at how far these limbs extend to. They st extend out into all different kinds of directions. God says, let me shade you. Let me be your strength and let me direct your path. Ah, if you delight yourself within my presence, I will direct your path. I will give you the desires of your heart. Uh, he didn't say, I will give you the desires of your mind. I will give you the desires of your front mind. He said he will give you the desires of your heart. And remember, you don't know what's in your heart. Only he does. So, loneliness is important in this season. And I have to call it loneliness because I need you to wake up to the reality that that word means just what it means, alone. But even though you're alone, even though you have to stand alone in this season, you won't feel alone if you allow God to be your covering. Allow him to be your covering. Allow him to be your strength and allow him to direct your path. And you will find that everything you need is already inside of you. I love you guys so much. Hey, this is Donisha, your host. Go out and live the transformed life. Peace, I'm out of here.